and welcome to a happy buffer overflow day. You're gonna play the game here on Try Hack Me Day Six. I'm gonna show you the easy way to win this game. First of all, we need 16 coins. Now, I probably guess you're already trying to play this game, so I'm gonna speed it up a bit because it's a long process. Buffer overflow is basically all about giving a larger input that is more than needed. And then we're gonna override a table with values. So first of all. We need to get a lot of coins so we can get some more coins. The way that works is that we're going to go ahead and override the table. We can see that there's 12 characters and we're going to enter 16 characters and it's going to take it all and override the position of coins. Straightforward. Let's go now to the green smurf here and then say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and then just some, some efforts for example. Those Fs are being converted, you can see right here, into coins, and it's gonna be converted to 66, which is exactly what we need to do. So the number F, well, the letter F we put in is being converted, so we can use that. Now we can go ahead and check out the items here. If we go ahead and buy, for example, number five, press tab to see the table, uh, there, it says five. If we go ahead and buy number four, it says four. Now the item we would like to buy is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven is the twelfth item that is identified by letter D. So we need to buy D, but we cannot do that. We're gonna get this blue head, but we can just override that because we, we know that we can go ahead and buy any amount of letters at the green scroll. And all the way down here, there's the 45th. If you count all these columns and rows, you get 44 and the 45th should be a D. So let's go in and type 44 letters. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, and a D. 45th. Enter. Now we got the star. You can see we overwrote the overwrote. We wrote over we all written over yeah. We wrote the on the 45th position in the memory slot here. Now we can go and talk to the Christmas tree. And we're done. Boom. Alright get the flag and that is really this task. Now one of the questions is about the little Indian. So we're gonna, gonna go ahead and convert 4F, 4F, 50 and 53. Now we're gonna go ahead and put that in um, here in reverse order. So you have to take the hexadecimal and the decimal and you have to say 53 50, 4F, 4F, and press convert because it's saved in little Indian, basically means it's reversing the way it's being saved as to the compare the way we look at it. So basically that is the answer for this second part and it should be done with the task. Anyways, it's a buffer overflow day, you know, and the problem here is that, you know, this green scroll is not really doing any input validation, not checking the length. So basically we're allowed to do anything. We just put stuff in it or write whatever we need to or write. So that's really it. If that is the way you thought about, this is the way I solved it. And I really hope you learned something today about buffer overflow. I highly suggest you go ahead and read about buffer overflow after this task, because this is a task that kinda starts you on the thought of buffer overflow. See you again online tomorrow on day seven. <laughs> Thank you.